Enaro rangatira ma ena waka ena mana ena karanga rangatanga maha ena hapu putu noa te na kouta te na kouta a kia ora hui hui mai rata to kato ke te tau toko te mihi mihi o ngai to maha ninga mai nei ringa marai kia rata haere 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 te rana kote tonga mata kia kouta tato tonga ora kia tato. I just wanted to acknowledge our uh, honourable minister uh, today and uh, indicate that. Uh, as part of a movement, as part of a people on the rise in the endeavours to reclaim all sorts of things that have been either denied or taken, uh, the journey is a journey, not a destination. So I wanted to acknowledge uh, not just the Honourable Minister Pini Hinari, but uh, Nanaya Mahuta, Calvin Davis, and uh, all the rest of the Māori Caucus and the Labour Party. And the reason for that is because they are in a rōpū where at times they are heavily constrained in advancing the interests of our people. I know this because I was there. But under this particular government, we have made some major gains. We must acknowledge this, regardless of the fact that for some unknown reason I was elected president of the party Māori. So, but, but I just wanted to acknowledge uh, his contribution uh, I know, knew his dad uh, better than a new penny, and I sat in awe as a young solicitor when his, father, his grandfather was uh, on the board of Māori Affairs back in the day with Sir Hepi Tihuhu, Graham Latima, and a whole range of other giants of Māoridom. So I just wanted to acknowledge um, that we have to be smart, strategic, clever, and tactical in the way in which we manage our way to our own self-determination, our own self-management uh, in, in a very difficult uh, climate. And so it beholds us to set in stone what our true obligations, duties and responsibilities are for our people. And we do that in terms of the advancement of a clear, unadulterated and liberated policy setting into Party Māori. But it, it is, it is uh, us rattling the cage that allows for Penny and others to actually make gains for us and, and make gains they have. And I wanted to just acknowledge that we are not adversaries. Okay, we have to be strategic and clever on our way through in terms of seeking the transformations we rightly desire. And so to you, Penny, and to the rest of them, you can take that back to Wellington. Uh, you're doing an outstanding job. The demonization and victimization of Nanaia Mahuta is a disgrace. Uh, and it's not about three waters or co-governance. It's, it's about a true conversation because we own it. Yeah, rather than co-governance. So, so I just wanted to say that. Uh, Hone is sitting here next to his relation. And I, I wanted to acknowledge Hone because um, we're going to have one hell of a celebration. If you thought last night was a celebration, <laughs> You come to Waipareta on the 29th of October. It's Honi's mother's 90th birthday. Yeah, so, so nine decades of Harawetas in one district. And uh, <laughs> if anyone can weather that storm, uh, it had to be Waipareta. But look, the, um, but, but the beauty about uh, the uh, Harawetta nine decade story that will be told that night is it's a story of unadulterated liberation. Yeah, relentless. Um, when I went on the campus at university uh, with Honi, Hilda was actually, I had a bigger mouth than Honi those days, but uh, she was leading the charge and I was, I, I was in the quad and, um, and I thought, oh, geez, this woman's out the gate and I, I used to hang my head. <laughs> and uh, and that's, that's how colonised I was. Yeah. So I just wanted to uh, um, acknowledge your whanau uh, and its relentless drive for mana māori motuhake. Yeah. And, and so uh, all, all Penny's uncles and Hone's uncles, uh, they brought us up uh, in Waipareta. Uh, uh, the north is hardwired uh, through the foundation of um, Whanau Waipareta. And even though I'm from Ngāti Pro, they were better uncles to me than w Uncle Wahoo, his father. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <they're trying> to... <laughs> so I just wanted to say that's the sort of um, environment and world we grew up in. And I, I just wanted to acknowledge that because you just happened to be sitting here and I just needed to get that off my chest. It's part of being a Catholic. It's confession time. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, uh, uh, that's that. I, I, I now wanted to just 
I say to our minister that uh, without him, we wouldn't have been able to get to where we've got. <clears throat> and I don't want this, any comments to be made by me now to sound churlish or to sound um, as if I'm ungrateful or thankless. Minister, yeah, I just want to speak my truth. Um, <laughs> so, so, what, so what's going to happen is, is that uh, I'm just going to go through our COVID response. And I need to give you these numbers. They're magnificent. And not, not only are they magnificent, it's just the magic of our people. And uh, they're often put down. It's often not good enough. They're like hell. So there was our response. Uh, we'll, we'll go through it over 2020 uh, 20 to 2022. And um, here's the story in numbers. This is the magnificence of it. You know, we vaccinated in this room, we vaccinated 20% of the total population of Aotearoa. Vaccinated. Yeah. We did it on 0.7% of the vote. Now that has to be contested, Minister. Right? And so... We tested PCR tests over a million people, another 20%. This movement, okay, and never shall it be forgotten. Just like our pioneer battalion that come back from the First World War, Māori battalion come back from the Second World War, lauded as they were, forgotten after they arrived home. And no longer should we tolerate that. Right? We fought the fight, and that's why we deserve uh, our share I don't want the Pākehā's share. I just want our per capita share. 17% of the total budget, Penny. So, <laughs> so we, we're just saying on a, on a per capita basis. You know, and that, that's equality. That's not equity. Uh, the Sapir report says in health alone, we're a billion dollars behind over 15 years. So you're going to have to have another 15 billion there, Penny. So, so you'd understand, like, these are the, these are the facts um, and the like. And so I just wanted to put that up there, just say how uh, outstanding you are and how uh, far we've come under this government. And as Penny's grandfather said, well, we've come too far not to carry on. And that's the story, okay, that we will continue to take. Uh, oh, this, oh, by the way, all the presentations are in a pack and will be provided to you uh, either online or offline in terms of hard copies if you so desire it. So don't worry about taking photos. I saw everybody taking photos of Kitty's presentation yesterday, but um, it, uh, it's in a pack. So, th so uh, uh, this is just Tamaki Paiheringa, and I just broke that out to give you an example of one rohe. There are five other rohes involved uh, in, in the outstanding work that we uh, achieved and supported. I won't, I won't go and bore you now with the rest of the pack, um, but there's some other detail in there. Uh, you are the most efficient and effective workforce uh, on a price per capita of arms injected and noses swabbed. Okay? That's another telling statistic. The most efficient and the most effective. That mob there in Tamiki uh, on our best days, okay, on our best days, we're swabbing one person every 54 seconds and vaccinating one person uh, every 38 seconds. Uh, on our biggest day, on one of, of our big, big, biggest and busiest days, uh, 2,780 uh, arms uh, vaccinated. So these are, these are our, you cannot deny uh, the, the magnificence of your efforts. And, I, I, and people say, oh, Kimbra doesn't say how sweet it is, that's bullshit. I mean, we, we've got to honour ourselves and rejoice in how good we are rather than being so humble that, that we get left behind. Because when, when we are so humble and, and, and expecting an acknowledgement, uh, others see it as a weakness rather than a sign of respect to them. So, so we, we have to change. Um, I, I now wanted to just quickly address um, the, the intellectual property that is collectively owned in this room, but sits at the moment under the Final Water Commissioning Agency. Now, that intellectual property uh, was one by way of a new model of commissioning that was rolled out into Ika Maui in 2014. And it followed an Auditor General's report which said the state could not deliver uh, on a bang for buck or any measurement 
final order. And the state had run it from 2009. So that contract was won out into the communities and put out amongst you. The net result of that is what you see in this room. 76% of the whanau order network is iwi owned. Not political iwi warlord owned, but owned by the whakapapa of the iwi in the rohe. Okay? So there is a bit of a distinction going on at the moment. So, so that's an outstanding uh, acknowledgement. 24% of course are mātawaka. And just, just as I acknowledge the North, uh, Northern elders begat Nahawe Fa Marae and Pukekoe, Papakura Marae, Manurero Marae, Hone Waititi Marae, Mātātū Marae. Yeah. So I just wanted to once again acknowledge the North because <coughs> um, I also wanted to acknowledge Kitty, my uh, girl, because she's half Napu and half Naji Pro. And um, yeah. <laughs> And if, there's a, uh, if, you're, if you're baking a cake uh, of that sort of, it's pretty dodgy cake. But the point is, <laughs> <laughs> but the point is, and, but, but uh, to top it off, she's got some whakatohe icing on the top. And that makes it quite incendiary. So, so I just wanted to acknowledge the work there because um, we, we then de designed and developed uh, our own mana and our own rohe by, by uh, getting you to design the moi moi are from the communities rather than someone from Wellington or a bureaucrat. So I just wanted to acknowledge uh, that operational model. The operational model of here's the money, it is permissive for you to go to your whānau and your whānui and determine what is the best arrangement to deliver services to them. So that's, that's the operational model. That operational model now has transcended into Ngā Tini Whetu. And Ngā Tini Whetu, uh, like all things, is our navigation story. And, and our navigation story is to crest new horizons and not fear them and be relentlessly uh, positive about seeking new initiatives and new ways of conducting ourselves to advance our people. So Ngātini Whetu is the new operational model. I heard some talk about whānau tahi, God bless it. Uh, but, <laughs> but what I wanted to say about that, that's a moi moi come out of um, our whānau too in 2008-2009. Who said Māoris can't design and develop their own digital world? Who said we have to go to Silicon Valley when we're pretty good at doing it in Henderson Valley? So, so these are, the, the, these are uh, our expressions of our mana Māori motuhake in a new era. And, and who said we were going to be the best uh, uh, gig in town? Because we just started out on our own journey and believing in ourselves in the digital space. And so... Final order has begat that conversation. And a number of the people in this room uh, have designed and developed uh, their own iterations of it, and that's outstanding. Okay? And so that's our operational tool uh, in, in terms of uh, the type of talking to, uh, measuring, and conducting ourselves uh, amongst our communities. To the extent that our whanau uh, will have the downloads of their case notes. So rather than you talking about them, you're talking with them. And these are the new operating uh, models that we are putting out there. We are also part of an international peer regrouping, peer view, a review grouping called Social Value International. And we, we operate the Social Value Aotearoa uh, impact modelling. Okay, social return on investment, the lot. Okay. We are out... In, we are out in front of any Pākehā provider group, both public and or private, and I'll raise that very soon. So I just wanted to say that, say that to you. You, don't, you, you just do the do, but you don't understand how, how great you are in terms of uh, an advancement of where others dream to go. And then we have our own workforce competency and capability, certificates, diploma, and the degree course has just been... Uh, credited. Okay, I want anyone here that has done a certificate or diploma in fine order to put your hand up. Well, I see the degree course is coming to you, but here's the, and, and I just wanted to acknowledge that and thank you for that. <laughs> because that model, that model is uh, we will be seeking ministerial sign-offs to the creation of our own Kaiarahi Registration Board. <laughs> Who says? Who says we need a social workers registration board solely packed out with Pākehā pedagogy? Who says that? We, we have our own right and entitlement 
to honour and reward our own people uh, by being outstanding kaimahi amongst them. And, and a registration board is available there. And here's the beauty about it. Uh, Penny doesn't know this yet, but because uh, I haven't sent you the, I haven't sent you the note. But um, it doesn't require a statutory change. It's just a, it's uh, it's an executive decision. So I'm, I'm, we're expecting it before Christmas, Penny. No. Um, so so no. Thank, thank, thanks a lot. But these are the. But you know, if we don't if we don't strive to build these things and take them back, uh, <clears throat> we're always going to non Māori to seek a sanction or to seek a consent. You know. And that's, that's a new form of modern slavery. So I just wanted to say that. So when you, when you pack together uh, the, everything that we've built over the last nine years, it's an extraordinary uh, uh, area of activity. Okay? Every one of you has to supply your audited accounts. Every one of you uh, have to be mandated out of your iwi or your hapu or your whanui in your area. And every whanau order provider or a partner has to be tethered to a marae. They are, they are <coughs> uh, our, our, one of our greatest uh, bonding points in all our communities. Okay? And so not all, not all people can claim that. Now, in 2018, we embarked on uh, renaming Te Pau Matakana, the uh, Final Water Commission Agency, for one reason. The New Zealand police started to employ social workers and call them whana ora, <coughs> call them whana ora kaimahi. They would go out with the cops. Now, I've never, uh, we reject the notion that you can police someone as well as support them with a welfare package. It's an oxymoron. And, and the way they destroyed Pua Uchatatu and Matua Whangai. So we cannot allow them to do that again. That's why we have taken ownership of that term in health and welfare spaces. Because we don't want them destroyed. Uh, and we had this conversation the last time any of you that were involved in the Kohanga and Kura movement, and it split Waipareira actually, when you recall this, um, it was over whether we should legislate Jahu Matua in the Kura Kaupapa movement. It's the same conversation that we're having here over the word Whanau Ora. Whanau Ora is owned by all Māori. And on every marae, uh, they should be allowed to express their whānau ora, tanga. But when they're in this area over the last nine years, and you have built an incredible brand and, and an incredible accreditation model, they can join, but they've got to join and go through the rigour that you went through. And that's fair, right? So we're not here building an exclusive club. It's not like King's College. So the, so the, point, the point is, is that everyone is welcome but they're welcome because they have to uh, uh, do what you've done, demonstrate the do, and that's cool. So one of, um, one of our Ngāti Awa relations, of course, uh, has a different view of the world on that. Okay, now, I won't name him, it's George Nato. <laughs> so look, here's the thing. So here's the thing, if, you are, if, it's, if it's your whaka papa, just say, George, just line up and do what you've got to do. Okay, so thank you very much for that. So, so I'm just coming now into, uh, into our back end. Uh, on our uh, degree course, I just wanted to acknowledge uh, Pania here as, as well as, because Donna Grant is from here, uh, she's been an outstanding leader uh, in our, our education process and our workforce competency. And uh, at Whānau Waipa, we don't care what uh, the system says about our people. Oh, my cousin over here, Donna Awatiri, is here too. Don't care the way they've treated her or Donna these are two outstanding mana wahine. And we, we say it. We say it. Yeah. And don't worry. Don't worry about what the, what the white man system says to them and treats them. Um, I won't go into the detail of that, but it was disgraceful the way those two women have been treated. Um, it's a bit like the way they're treating Nanaya now solely because, because she is a Maori fronting uh, against uh, the Ku Klux Klan territory of... Uh, of Aotearoa, yeah, the rural underbelly, and so, so, so that's why, why, why we, su we support her, absolutely, okay, and I just wanted to acknowledge you, Donna, for all your good mahi, and, the, and, and for all of you, uh, that uh, we have processes where we can agree that you have learned experience that is worthy of accrediting units to, that, that, that we should honour you and fuck money your journey in terms of your lived experience. And then we have micro-credentialing and everything else. 
And so I've gone, I've gone to some detail, and I'm sorry to have bored you with that, because it's important that you understand what a magnificent group of people you are, and that when we go home humbly, um, because we're always asked to be humble, that's okay. But remember, others take it for granted and see it as a weakness. So I just wanted us to say, no, no, we have to fuck on one another. Okay? Now, we will have a, uh, a time to agree to disagree, and we have. Okay, but we worked our way through that. So just hold tight on uh, fine order. Thank, I thank our minister for arriving today. Oh, by the way, Minister, uh, minister Jackson was in the house yesterday. Yeah, I offered him uh, a speaking role, and you won't believe this, he turned it down. Um, <laughs> you are. <laughs> uh, no, he said he's not going to rain on Penny's parade. So there you go. Uh, um, so, so for those of you that saw um, Willie here, we just wanted to fuck him in our, our, our Minister of Whanau Order. So I wanted to acknowledge that. And uh, the second biggest change in, Māori, in the Māori world uh, in the next 10 years will be uh, how our Māori Health Authority rolls out. And the, and, and the pay order legislation is an outstanding piece of legislation. I wanted to acknowledge the Māori caucus from the Labour Party of achieving that. So there's great things that have been done, but not enough. And so it's the, it's the journey, not the destination. So I wanted to conclude there. Uh, I, I, I did have a number of other things. I've talked talk for too long because I went off on a few tangents by seeing a few faces around here that, that I've acknowledged. And, uh, and to finally just say, hey, you know, when you look through here, the uh, leadership the backbone of all of our, uh, most of our uh, iwi groupings and our partnerships uh, and partners out there, that it is, it is our women that are driving it. And I, I just want, I want to acknowledge that, okay? Yeah, because um, once again, his mother was out the gate telling those Napoys that her woman can sit on the front. <laughs> anyway, uh, enough of Auntie T. We'll, we'll do that on the 29th of October. But that's the sort of, that, that's the sort of, unbridled nature of it. And the final thing I'll say about Napoli, because I, I like that tribe, is it doesn't matter whether when they settle, it's their business. <laughs> it's not my business. Yeah. They say, oh, it's, not my, it's not my gig to commentate on what's going on up north. You know, they don't anything about it. It's a bit like, you know, when the Samoans were having a fight over their prime minister. It's not my business. And they, and they sorted it out through their own fai kōrero and hui huinga. Yeah, Napoli will settle when they're ready. Yeah, and, and, and here's the other thing. It just goes ching, ching, and it keeps going up. Anyway, um, <laughs> so, the, so the message is, the message is, Penny's going to do a good budget for them. Okay, so, so thank you very much, uh, 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 and I just want you now to clap, but not for me, but for you. Okay, so, so all my paki paki kia koutou. Oh. What are we on? No. Oh.